Uh, it's Boss Hot K Po through the door. I'm back to back like the 94 95 Rockets. Here to talk to boxing. So, look, we're going to talk about Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna and what do I want to see from Ryan Garcia in the future. So, uh, Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Javier Fortuna is tough. Um, I think he's coming off a loss. I think he ain't fought since he fought Jojo Diaz. I ain't mistaken. But uh, coming off a loss, um, Uh, he's tough, rugged, can fight. Um, he's iffy, though. I don't know, like, if he's mentally checked in this fight. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? We'll see on fight night what he need to do against Ryan Garcia is he set up his punches. Ryan Garcia still closes his eyes. Ryan Garcia still holds his chin in the air. So maybe if he starts doing some feints to the body to get Ryan Garcia to drop his hands, maybe he can catch him with the overhand right. Um, you know, hurt Ryan Garcia. Uh, Ryan Garcia is fast, so uh, Javier Fortuna got through a lot of jabs, uh, best to the body. I'm big on body work. That's just what it is. So I think he needs to uh, stab the jab to the to the body, you know, to the solar plex, uh, upstairs, downstairs, throw that jab, keep that jab out there. Um. I think he got to be first, though. He got to dictate the pace. Because, like I said, Ryan Garcia is fast. Ryan Garcia can get off, and if he get off, it's a problem. So I think what he got to do is keep that jab in his face, uh, use lateral movement, move his head, maybe in spurts, fight, put Ryan Garcia on the ropes. I don't know if Ryan Garcia can fight off the ropes like that, so I would look to put Ryan Garcia on the ropes in the corner and work the body, work the jab, pick my shots, stuff like that. Keep Ryan Garcia in that corner, make him work. If he does that, he can win by a decision. Ryan Garcia, what he got to do? I think Ryan Garcia is taller, so he got to keep uh, Fortuna on the outside. Uh, I think what Ryan got to do is fight in the middle of the ring, staff the ropes, uh, use that jab. Use the speed, man. Be first. He does have to be first. Um, I do think one thing I don't like that Ryan Garcia don't have in his arsenal. He do not do body work. You know what I mean? Like he don't. He'll he'll slip a punch and go to the body, which that's where he dropped uh, Luke Campbell with. But he don't really go to the body a lot. You know what I mean? He relies on oh I'm faster than you. Ooh, bop, bop, bop. I'm hitting your head. No nah, man, go to that body. You know what I mean? So um, because then that can set up a knockout. You keep going to the body, you know, in later rounds, you faint to the body, he drop his hands, overhand right, or hook, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That face going to come open later in the fight. So, I think what Ryan got to do, like I said, be first, uh, move his head. Man, that boy, and keep his eyes open, because he be closing his eyes, man. That boy, I don't, you know, I get it. You know, he, but you don't need to close your eyes to do that. So, if he do that, he could potentially get uh, either a stoppage or a decision. Now, Ryan Garcia been talking about tank. Um, I'm going to say it right here. I'm going to say it right now. Ryan Garcia ain't ready for no tank. Okay? He ain't ready for no tank. He ain't ready for no Devin Haney. He need to, he need to build his skill level up in the gym because he ain't ready for neither one of them boys. He's not ready. And he's trying to get a tank fight, which Golden Boy know that. They ain't finna put that boy in there with Tank. Tank, I'm gonna tell you like this. Tank gonna body bag that boy. They gonna, he gonna toe tag Ryan Garcia. Body bag, zip up the bag, put him in the dang freezer. That's what's gonna happen to him if he fight Tank. He gonna die. <laughs> God forgive me, man. I'm just saying, bro, he getting, he getting slipped. He let Luke Campbell turn that boy into a, a chicken wing, man. That boy arm looked like a dang drum, not a drum. What is that? Wing at, man. What can Cat Wing say? Bit back paper clip. That's what he looked like. So what Tank gonna do to that boy? He's not ready for Tank. Okay, Devin Haney. He's not ready for Devin Haney. Ryan got to work on the small things, keeping that chin down. He's fast, but he relies on his speed too much. He needs to 
build his skill level up. He just needs to stay in the gym, fight better competition, fight better competition. And, you know, if he stays consistent for this year and next year, maybe in 2024, maybe talk about a tank fight or a Devin Haney fight. But as of right now, I don't see that happening. I just don't. You know what I mean? I just think Ryan need to stay in the gym. Keep working with that coach that be wearing that blue jean jacket. That boy look like a Ken Bar or old Ken Barber dog. <laughs> His coach. Goosen. But all I'm saying is, is that stay in the lab, keep working. And I feel like he, he'll be ready in like 2024. But if he's still doing the body shot challenge, back shot, whatever, whatever he call on YouTube and TikToks and all that. He ain't gonna never be ready. He gotta prioritize boxing. He gotta build his boxing fan base up. Yeah, he got fans outside of boxing, but his boxing fan base gotta get up. So, y'all let me know if y'all agree with me, man. Y'all think Rock got still gonna be ready for Tank right now? Let me know. Or even Devin Haney. Boss gone.